Hey friends, today I am hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. I came out to celebrate 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much. That is all of you. You're the 100,000 people that have decided to subscribe to my channel. And honestly, I am so humble and thankful. So I decided to come out and hang out at Magic Kingdom. But also, today is the last day that we can actually ride rides and be indoors without a mask because tomorrow, the mask have to come back. Anywho's, let's go do this. I really couldn't think of any other place I would want to be to help celebrate 100,000 subscribers and here at the Magic Kingdom. And actually, it's my first time seeing the 50th logo on the castle, so that's a good reason to come out as well. Look at it, it's beautiful. And like I mentioned before, today is the last day that we can enjoy some of the attractions without wearing a mask for quite some time. Disney has announced starting tomorrow, July 30th, they are going to require all guests to wear a mask indoors, on transportation, in restaurants. Whether you're vaccinated or not, you have to have the mask. Now, I don't know how long that's going to last for, but I wanted to come out today anyway, celebrate my 100,000 subscribers and also enjoy a little maskless fun in the park. I feel like today might be one of the busiest days I've seen in a while. Usually Main Street USA is not this crowded when you first walk in because a lot of people are out at the attractions or waiting in lines. But just look how busy the central hub area is. I mean, this is a busy July day. We're gonna hop right on into some rides and hopefully the wait times aren't that long and we can get a lot done. But if we can't get a lot done, I'm just happy to be here and hanging out. Like, just being here is fun. I wanted to head on over to Big Thunder Mountain and hopefully the line isn't gonna be too long. Oh, wait a second. I hope the line's not all the way back there, is it? Uh-oh. Oh, I think the line is back here. Oh, Lordy. Looks like we're gonna have a pretty long wait. <laughs> 45 minutes, it says. My guy. Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> 45 minutes and we're back by the riverboat. I mean, this is, this is gonna be uh, a very long one. We gotta go all the way over there. I find it hard to believe that this is a 45 minute wait. We might be looking at like 60, 65 minutes actually. And it's a hot day, so I'm just gonna kinda just hang out and take it easy and wait in line. Look at this cool view as we wait though. I really, really like it. And the line actually grew a lot. So now it's actually going all the way to the Diamond Horse Sewer, it looks like. We have passed the 45 minute <laughs> wait time already. We're sitting about an hour at this point, so we don't have much long to go. Maybe another five minutes or 10 minutes. Not too shabby, I mean, 45 minutes wasn't too off. I mean, it literally took really quick. We moved fast. And I would wait 100 minutes more. Here we are, back row too. I'm excited, I haven't rode the back in a while. I kind of would like to hang out in here. That'd be so nice. 
That was a lot of fun and definitely a great way to kick off the day. The only bad thing about when you're riding Big Thunder Mountain during the day, and especially when you have a camera, when you're going in and out of the buildings, uh, I get this big like white flash. So sometimes that doesn't make it into the video, but I love it. It is such a fun ride. I've always loved Big Thunder Mountain. I think it's one of the best themed coasters in the world actually. And now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do next. On to the next. Fruit Loops first though. Gotta have my Fruit Loops. I think that's, oh no, that's tricks, ain't it? <laughs> I think I'm mistaking my cereal taglines. Fruit Loops, I don't know what Fruit Loops is. Tricks is, tricks are for kids. But what's the cereal where they say I gotta have my, I gotta have my kicks? Is that it? I gotta have my kicks? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know. You know what goes good with Fruit Loops? Capri Suns. <laughs> Now I need to go wash my hands. <laughs> if Disney actually allowed me to walk around with one of those little navy grabbers, I would pick up trash all day long as I walk about the parks. And plus I would look cool carrying it, you know? You know what I'm talking about, the little navy grabbers? I would definitely just be picking up trash all day long. I was gonna think about coming over to the Haunted Mansion. It says 70 minutes. That is a very long, long line. You can see it actually wrapping all the way down there. Now it doesn't look like it's long, but it is very, very long. So I'm not sure if we're gonna do that right now. Maybe we'll come back a little bit later. If we can't do the Haunted Mansion right now at this moment, then I guess we'll do the second best thing. Seven Dwarves Mine Train, 120 minutes. I feel like I should have just waited out and did 70 minutes for the Haunted Mansion, but I do believe the Haunted Mansion will go down. Like the wait time won't be that long. 120 minutes for Seven Dwarves Mine Train, it's gonna be long all day long. So if I wanna do it, I just gotta commit, get in line and just wait it out. So uh, yeah, I'm committed. I'm ready to do this. 120 minutes. We can watch a full-length movie in line before we actually get to ride it. So there you go. You you know you want things to do while you uh, wait. Watch a movie. You know maybe binge watch a TV series. Uh, there's a lot of things you could do in 120 minutes. 30 minutes in, and we haven't even made it in the queue itself. Holy moly, this is the greatest AC I have ever felt. Like it is so hot waiting in that line, but we're indoors now, time to... <laughs> it looks like we got a pretty empty train here. Oh boy, coming in hot. <laughs> oh wow, so beautiful out. <laughs> oh, we got a rocket. I got no one to rock it with me. <laughs> Hi, hit him high. It's off to work we go. <laughs> Ooh, coming in hot. We gotta keep it rocking. Keep it rocking. I try to keep it going, but ah, I can't get it. I can't. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going. <laughs> now we're gonna come face to face with the evil queen, and she is terrifying. Wait till you guys see her. Oh boy, right up here. And also, we see another minecart coming down the hill. Any second now. Any second. Maybe not this. Oh, there it is. Oh, take a look in those windows. And right up here, here she is. Ah! 
This is a big unpopular opinion, but I have to say, 120 minute wait, and I don't know if we waited 120 minutes, I would say we waited probably 80, I would say 80, uh, but I don't think it's worth it for Seven Doors Mine Train. I love the ride, I love the attraction, but it is so quick and fast, and it just goes by like that. Now, if you're on vacation, you gotta wait it out because you gotta ride the ride. If I was on vacation and that was the last ride I would have to ride, I would wait, you know, an hour and 20 minutes, absolutely. Today, I, I dedicate it, well, thank you. Fancy fellow right there. I dedicated time to actually sit down and, well, sit, stand, and wait and ride the ride. So, it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, 120 minutes. <sighs> now I wanna move along to hopefully somewhere I'm not gonna have to wait in a long, long line like I did Seven Doors Mine Train and probably just as equal fun for me. Dumbo! This can't be real life here. This, this, it just, it can't be real life. 50 minutes for Dumbo the Flying Elephant. 50 minutes! What a, what? Holy moly! <laughs> oh, I don't even know. I don't know what to say about that. I am a little bit disappointed and sad. Hey, how are ya? <laughs> I'm like a little disappointed and sad that it's 50 minutes for Dumbo. I mean, <laughs> I just waited in Seven Doors Mine Train for a long, long time. And then I did Big Thunder Mountain. That was over an hour, actually. And uh, I passed on the Haunted Mansion because it was 70 minutes. But now I'm thinking maybe all the attractions have long wait times. Maybe everybody wants to come and ride without a mask on before it changes tomorrow. That could be it. I think instead we're gonna head on over to Tomorrowland and check on the People Mover. I figure since I celebrating 100,000 subscribers, the People Mover would be a fun ride to ride today. It is paging Mr. Morrow. Speaking of that, I think I have lost my 100K celebration button. It's gone. I can get another one made, but do you think someone returns those and they go to Lost and Found? I think you just get another one, but mine's gone. Could be in the mine cart. Who knows? Look how busy Tomorrowland is. Uh-oh. I believe the rain is a-coming. The, the rain's approaching. We need to move fast. This rain, when it hits, it hits like a, I would say like a, like, like that. Like it goes from zero to a hundred real quick. It's happening. It's happening. Stay calm. Stay calm. People mover. Seek the people mover. Seek the people mover. Looks like everybody hopped in line at the people mover to stay dry and it's actually funny because you're kind of staying dry because the uh, track for the people mover is the only thing that's not wet. Everything else is soaking wet so as long as you stay under here and wait in line, you'll be good. But I hear Space Mountain is down so that's probably why some of the attractions have high wait times. It'd be nice if it came on right now and then we run over there and get in line without waiting. Now it is time. We stay dry and we can do a grand circle around Tomorrowland. And it is windy up here. Very windy. Oh boy. Hopping in here. Oh, this is such a treat. Look at how gray those skies are. I mean, it's slightly raining right now, but there is lightning in the area. Here we go. Oh, it is so windy up here. You can see the water coming flying off. Hey! <laughs> oh, doesn't look like Space Mountain's open yet. Maybe when we get off. I got my eye on you. Now we're just gonna sit back and let the wind hit our face. Isn't that great? That sounds great, doesn't it? Let the wind hit your face. And take a good look at Tron there. Every time I come by here, I just get so excited. It looks like that wall or that entrance part is actually open again. I can see inside, they have lights turned on in there. Wow, that is amazing. Uh-oh, it's starting to rain real heavy again. 
We got a whole pool down here. Look at those poor guys out there working in the rain. We're gonna have to go inside now. Oh no. Oh my lord. It's happening. This is, this is happening. The lights are on for Space Mountain. <laughs> oh, look at it in here. It's amazing. I gotta take a look back. Yes, what is in door two there? This is so awesome. Look at that. dream one day to ride it with the lights on but now we know it's not open of course it's not open the lights were on but look at holy moly it is very windy so the lens is gonna get wet here because the uh, the wind is throwing the rain around but take a look at a uh, very wet tomorrow land there starting way back at the turn oh look at that castle <laughs> Everybody's running. Look at it. It happened so quick, folks. It is really downpouring, and the rain is coming to an end here. <laughs> We're gonna have to get off and get wet, it looks like. They're gonna let us ride again. It is so bad out. They're letting the whole entire people mover ride again. I love it. Look at that, look at that. This is so amazing. Even though we are on an attraction, we are getting soaked in here. Like, it is coming off the side there, and we're just going around again. That's craziness. That is so awesome. What magic they just made. All these people are riding again. We're all doing it again. Round two. <laughs> I love it because I don't want to be out there right now. I mean, holy moly. I don't even think they have anybody waiting in the queue. I think everybody is just lined up underneath the track. There is nobody in the queue. Like, everybody is just standing still. Oh my, did you see that lightning? Holy moly. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a big thunder. Big thunder in a second. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Oh no! Ah! Oh no! <laughs> duck! Duck! <laughs> oh no! Watch out! What? <laughs> so skin wet. Look at us. <laughs> I love it. This is great. <laughs> It means we get another shot at checking out Space Mountain with the lights on too. Oh, look at the cast members walking up there. Yeah, so there is nobody in line. Everybody is just kind of ducking and hiding from the rain. So you could just walk up and go right on the people mover. So that's probably why they keep letting us ride and ride and ride. That's really awesome. Oh my lord, it's a flood! Look at it! Holy moly, there's like five feet of water down there! Our time has come. Hey, our time has come. We need to brave the storm now. It's time to get wet. <laughs> I just bought these shoes. 
but we're going for it. Oh my lord! Holy moly! Okay. It's deep. We're going. We're going. Oh no! <laughs> I've given up on trying to just, save Yeah, but we just gotta give up and go. Oh. <laughs> my camera is soaked. My feet are soaked, and there are tidal waves in Tomorrowland. Look at there's actual tidal waves, and it's lightning. This is great. <laughs> I'm happy, actually. <laughs> the people mover line starts right here. Who's waiting? <laughs> Disney's newest attraction. <laughs> I think. I'm just gonna go for it. I made it this far, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get soaking wet after this. I'm just gonna protect the camera, so I'm not gonna be able to film much, but I'll try, but this is gonna be seriously insane. Here we go. Oh. Tomorrowland is flooded. Maybe it's not so deep over here. Oh my lord, it is super deep here. Okay, not so bad over here. Look at this! It's everywhere! There are literally waves everywhere. Oh, some lightning! My favorite hat. I hope it's not ruined. It came from Disneyland. I don't know if I'm ever get another one, but I had to use it to save the camera. At this point, I think uh, I think it's done its job. <laughs> the camera's good, and we made it through there. This also looks like the end of the line for Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin. That's really awesome. <laughs> oh my lord. I was able to grab a walk-up reservation for Tony's Town Square, and I think we're gonna make our way down there just so we can dry off, get something to eat, and maybe a drink. Because this was this was fun, but holy moly. It definitely looks less crowded than before. <laughs> I'll give it that. Oh look at that guy using a stroller as an umbrella. That's very original. And I successfully made it to Tony's Town Square. I mean, it was definitely a tough one. My hat is soaked. I am soaked. My shirt is soaked. And uh, it's nice to just be able to sit in here and relax and get some Italian food and maybe a beer or two. I asked if I can sit outside, but because of the rain, I don't think they're doing seating outside. But I like this little corner I got here. It's very nice. We are Siamese, if you please. Then look at Lady. Like this is like the Lady Corner. I feel like because they have a whole bunch of different like pictures of Lady over here. I think I'll get myself some Italian wedding soup. I got a Peroni already, and uh, yeah, just gonna sit here and enjoy. Cheers to 100,000 guys. Thank you so much. Cheers to today. It's been an amazing day. First things first, we've got some Italian wedding soup. Let's take a look here. Oh, look at that. That looks like it's gonna be a good soup right there. And then the bread. And now the bread is always so delicious here. I love this stuff. And I would definitely get some more because I need it for the pasta. And I love the oil too. You know, I love soup and I love Italian wedding soup. My favorite soup was from Delmonico's, which was a off-property restaurant that I just had the other day. That was the best soup I've had in a round. I've had this soup before, but I do like a lot. I think I'll grab myself a little meatball first. It's hot. It is hot, but it is delicious. Take a look at all of the veggies in there. This is a really hearty soup. And of course, those meatballs and little tiny noodles and spinach. Very good. It wouldn't be a bad idea to dip the bread in the soup too. That's not a bad idea. I think I might try it myself. It is a nice focaccia. So it has a little bit of a, like a hard texture to it. But look at that. I'm gonna try a little bit like that. Just a little bit like that. Mm. 
I like that a little bit better than the oil, actually. Now it's time for the main event. I got the chicken parm and I got linguine instead of the spaghetti that comes with it. So trying up a new noodle here and I'm excited. It looks good. I can't wait to cut into it and check it out. The best part is cutting into this bad boy. Now I did get it without the provolone cheese because I'm not a big fan of provolone at all. Like that is, I'm not a big fan of cheese at all, but provolone is definitely my least favorite cheese. And look at this, I'm gonna cut right on in there. Oh, perfect. That is perfect. We're gonna go chicken first, then a little pasta, and then we're gonna try to do a little chicken and a little pasta in one bite. Oh, very good. Now we gotta try this linguine a little bit. Now it's time for the combo. We're gonna get ourselves a nice piece of chicken. We're gonna fork that one right off right there, because we can't do that. Then we're gonna grab some of the pasta, do a little twirl, do a little dance. Excellent. Bada bing. No spoons for the pasta though. Hard to eat noodles without a spoon. I do have to say, I probably will never get this again with the spaghetti. Linguine all the way. Like that is so much better than the regular pasta. And I, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of like spaghetti and linguine. If they had angel hair, I would get angel hair. But this is way, way better. I'm happy I tried it today. I would have never known. Now though, I am full. I was thinking about getting the tiramisu or tiramisu, but I think I just can't do it. So we're gonna head back out in the rain. Uh, maybe check out the Emporium. I wanna see if they have any new merchandise. And uh, I don't know, I guess just kind of go with the flow of things. Oh, it looks like the rain may have stopped. That's good news, look at that. See, and the sun has come out. No, the sun did not come back out. Just the rain stopped, but we'll take that. <laughs> the reason I want to go into the Emporium is because, like I said, tomorrow we need to start wearing masks again. Now, I didn't throw away all my masks, but I do like to have fresh masks, so I think maybe uh, we'll stop in there and take advantage of those good deals. Disney was selling their masks for like 99 cents or buy one, get one free, and everyone was laughing because they were like, ha, no one's gonna buy those because we don't need them anymore. Well, I wish we did. This is all the masks they got left. Look at that. Used to have tons. Now there's barely anything here. I don't even know how much they are. I can't get any anyway, because they're all like mediums and smalls. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to just wash a couple new masks. They are 99 cents now, but come tomorrow, they'll probably be $10 a piece. That's when, you know, supply and demand comes into play. And there's not many there, so I bet you they're holding out. They're holding out to put out new ones till tomorrow. I do love this Haunted Mansion oven mitt. Room for one more. It's very, very fancy. What is a $14.99? Not too shabby. After seeing that Haunted Mansion oven mitt, it reminded me that I saw some new uh, Dalmatian merchandise and also a new uh, Haunted Mansion dog bowl that I would love to get Gracie. So we're gonna look for it first. They got this cool 101 Reasons I Love Disney shirt. I think this is for the ladies, so I really couldn't wear that, but I would. And then I don't think I see the Haunted Mansion Bowl. Maybe it's only at Memento More, but it looked really awesome and I know Gracie would love it, so I'll have to keep an eye out for it. These just seem like the regular ones. She has actually this one. I use it as her backup bowl, but I wanna get the Haunted Mansion one. And that was a strike and a miss. No Haunted Mansion Dog Bowl and no selection of masks. So like I said, I'm just gonna have to wash some masks and pretend like they're new. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so much. I want you to know that this channel and getting 100,000 subscribers is probably the greatest thing I've ever achieved in my life. Like, honestly, I, I, I've never been a creative person, but now I'm gonna take off my glasses because they're fogging up, but now, 
I feel like so honored to be able to make people laugh, show people a great time at Disney, give them information, and it really means a lot to me. Like, honestly, this is probably the best thing I've ever done in life. So, anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and I hope you enjoy more videos because I'm going to keep making them. We'll see you next time. Bye. But before we go, holy moly, look at this. Panchito, Goofy, Maxi. Oh, look at, look at Maxi Goof. That is amazing. I love Goofy and Max. The Goofy movie is one of my all-time top three movies. Look at that. I wish they would do the perfect cast. We need a power line concert. That's what we need. Oh, look at, actually, like Maxi started dancing when I said power line. <laughs> and there goes the monorail. I feel like that could be a tagline. And there goes the monorail. Sounds really nice.